itself. Why must DNA have a way to replicate itself? Yes. For cell, for cell reproduction. Cell reproduction. And to make sure that if we get organized, we don't lose our notebooks or our notes. Maybe that would be another thing. That's why DNA has to replicate itself. All right? Because you never know when you're going to have a pop quiz. All right. All right, so when a cell divides, each daughter cell is going to get a full, exact copy of the genetic code. All right, obviously we don't want to be walking around as a one-celled paramecium amoeba, euglena, something like that. We have to get a full, exact copy. And when is this going to happen? During the S phase of interphase. Do you remember that? S means? All right, that's how you remember it, but what does S actually mean? Synthesis. All right, synthesis. What does synthesis mean again? I forgot. What does that mean? Synthesis? Oh, when something divides. Building something up. All right, building something up. All right, building something up. All right. Okay, next. <coughs> All right, next. So we have to talk a little bit about what happens. Unfortunately, DNA is going to have to unzip the original parent strands and copy each parent into a new daughter strand. And we do that with some enzymes. Is that crazy or what? What's an enzyme? Catalyst. 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 So something in order for this reaction to occur. Now I always like to do this. Got a couple things here. All right, what, what's, what's happening in the middle here? What's going on in the middle here? How? What do we got? All right, hydrogen bonds. Are right here. All right, so those are those little dotted lines holding those things together. And then, in order to unzip it, we need to have an enzyme called helicase, which we'll talk about in just a second. All right, we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, let me move this right here. All right, so we're going to get two exact copies. What do you think the purple is? The purple. The purple on the, on the, on the right side. The purple. What do we call that? See if anybody can remember when I talked about it. Left side. Sugar. All right, so let's see. Label the parent strands and the daughter strands. Which one do you think is the parent? All right, so parent, parents, all right, daughter are the red. Go. Daughter or the red. All right, so we have to bring those strands there. We got to get those two exact copies going. If you take a look, they're exactly identical. All right, so replicating that DNA. Again, what are the complementary base pairing rules? Yeah, A binds with T and G binds with C. I think you know that. It's on there already. I don't know why I just did that. Probably did the wrong thing. All right, semi-conservatives. What does that mean? It's going to mean that no DNA molecule is ever completely new. And there is always one original strand and one new strand. All right, so if I'm looking at this picture, where is the original strand? Where is the original strand in this picture? Which white part? There's a lot of white parts. Not both white parts. Anybody? 
Where is the original strand? Right in the middle, up top. This? No, no. up top. This is the original right here. All right, so the original. All right, what is anything below? Your new strands. All right, so you see your new strands coming in as the black, but the whole DNA together is going to be the new DNA, the new strand. All right, so semi-conservative. I know there's a question on that on the topic two test too. All right, so which mode is correct? Which one of these is correct? Okay, go ahead and take a look. The conservative replication where you get a completely new. We have the original mix or the semi-conservative. Which one is correct? Go ahead and circle it if you can. All right, so see the new strand? What color is the new strand? All right, so hopefully you can see the other two, all right, that we have here. All right, so we have the dispersive replication where it's gonna intersperse in the middle. No, conservative, it just makes two complete new strands. Those are the other models. Um, that have been thrown out there, but has been proven to be semi-conservative. All right, so let's talk about this enzyme helicase. All right, the enzyme helicase is going to unzip the DNA by breaking the hydrogen bonds in the bases. So we have to know this term, helicase, helicase. Unpaired nucleotides are exposed and act as a template for the new complementary strand. All right, free nucleotides move into place. A binds with T, G pairs with C. The enzyme DNA polymerase three, it's actually DNA, you could just say DNA polymerase, that's fine, is gonna run along here, creating the new strand of DNA. All right, uh, it's gonna link the nucleotides together the unpaired. So we have the helicase going, take a look, All right? So it's going this way, unzipping. And then this guy is following on both strands creating, and that's the DNA polymerase, creating new DNA. All right, DNA polymerase, helicase, unzipping, Bonds, we're good with that. What's a nucleotide? Monomer of DNA or RNA, what, what does it contain? All right, a sugar phosphate in the base. The only thing that we're seeing here is what? It's the only thing we're seeing. We're only seeing the bases right now, right? So on this line, just so you understand, we have a phosphate, we have a sugar, and then we have our base. Make sure that line has the sugar phosphate in the base. All right, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, we get to watch a little video on this. All right, it's really awesome. Check it out. DNA replication is defined as the process by which an organism's original DNA is used. A wrong button. DNA replication is defined as the process by which an organism's original DNA is used as a template for the production of a new complementary DNA strand. An enzyme called helicase unwinds the original DNA's double helix, creating a replication form. <coughs> named DNA polymerase 3 works down the leading strand and up the lagging strand of the replication fork, synthesizing two new strands of DNA by taking free nucleotides and pairing them with the complementary bases on the original DNA template. The process of DNA replication is described as semi-conservative, 
Because the two copies of DNA produced each contain one strand of the original DNA and one entirely new DNA strand. All right. All right. Last thing, helicase breaks the hydrogen bonds between the bases to open the door. All right, so again, you have both of those. You have one going one way, one going the other way, right? So make sure that you have those arrows on there. DNA polymerase adds new nucleotides. Base so helicase and DNA polymerase. That's it.